Morning! Hello and welcome to my gate that I cannot open. Um, daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Um, yesterday we went to that tractor run at, um, at Penniston, which was, which was really good. Met some great people there, um, some really nice tractors. So if anybody wants to check that out, that's a previous video. But today we're going to be taking some cows in this morning. Um, and then it's looking like it's going to be nice. So whether I get spraying a bit later, we'll see what the ground conditions are like. First things first, we need to get on the here and do a mix. So we've not got much left. We're in the nine meter now. So we'll get some straw in here, put into this mixer. Um, when we've been doing the tractor run yesterday, I didn't get any pre-mix done. So we're a little bit behind this morning. Well, that's how it goes. We'll get this bashed in. As I'm filling the mixer, Andy is going round strawing everywhere. Getting that job done. Oh, it's hey, good morning, Pippa. So I've jumped in the staff. Still got that lane departure thing, so maybe the um, the wires come off again in the speaker. Anyway, yeah, I've jumped on the DAF. We're going to go and take these cattle in. Morning Andy. Morning. Good trip yesterday? Uh, road works everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was nice, it was nice when we get there. Yeah. You should have come to a tractor, for, tractor run instead. Yeah. That would have been better. There was, there was a car show on in Donny that I'd set on my phone and we got home and it, like alarm went off. <laughs> they tell me there was a car show on as well. Like, oh. oh, missed it, missed it. Oh, got a car in yeah, that was nice. <laughs> right, we're going to get these guys on. Come on, nice and steady. So I'm all loaded up now. I'm going to get these taken in. My dad and Andy are going to see one of our customers and have a look around their um, facility today. So I could have gone. But, um, I know it'd be nice for Andy because he's never been to be able to see um, the, the process at the abattoir. So um, yeah, he's doing all that. I'm going to go up there now though and tip these off. Well, we'll see what's at Ripon Farm Services today. Right, I'm back in the yard now. Ready for a coffee, you know? Ready for coffee time. I think Andy and my dad have already gone. Do you like the cows? Isaac's having a go now. Look, we touched its hand. We touch them when we go in the yard, don't we, mate? Yeah? That one, it's got loads of snot. Yeah. Oh, that one. It's just a bogey. Probably cutting it a bit fine, you know. Ready to go. Right, we're going. No, we're going. Go. So, me and Becky now are off to a Taco Bell. Taco Bell. So, me and Becky just got back now. <laughs> She's running off. Um, yeah, we've got some exciting news to tell everybody. So it's been left to me to tell you the exciting news. Um, me and Becky have just been out um, for a little bit this afternoon. Just my mum and uh, my mum. My dad and Andy are at um, the abattoir still looking around and, and having their nice little day out. And yeah, I've got some news that I've wanted to tell you for what feels like absolute months now. Um, but Becky wanted... Becky's been putting the brakes on, basically. She wanted, like, the family to know, friends to know, and then she also wanted her kitchen. Now, I've sort of ticked a few other things off her list, which were, like, she wanted new flooring, she wanted um, some wardrobes. Now, she's going to order them tonight. Um, and a few other bits and bobs. Now, some might say it's because she's nesting. And I think maybe from that you might know where this is heading. So, Isaac and Esme are going to have a new baby brother or sister soon. June 26th is the due date. We're having another baby. Um, we've had the 20-week stand. That was a long time ago. What feels like a long time ago anyway. We could have found out the gender. But we've had a surprise before. 
Uh, Esme, our first one, uh, we found out. Isaac was a surprise and we thought, you know what, let's just have a surprise again. It was, it was nice. There's not many things in this world now that are a true su surprise, um, but, but that is. So, um, yeah, looking forward to a busy harvest uh, where uh, we're going to get a baby as well. So, yeah. I'm on the moon anyway, so I wanted to tell you for ages and I, I'm, Becky's finally given me the go ahead, even though I've not got the kitchen yet, but it will come Becky, I promise, I promise. Um, buy some merch guys and Becky can have a kitchen. <laughs> right, anyway, I need to get some stuff done because um, Andy and my dad have, uh, still, are still out and they'll wonder what I've done while, uh, while I've been away. I've not, not done anything yet. So we're on it, we're going to fill up with bales. Get all them jobs done. Got a mix to do as well. So we've got, got plenty to do this afternoon, really. So we got a load of Trafford Gold on a big Volvo SDH haulage, fetching some in today. So Andy, what was it like then? Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Get to see like the, the next, the, 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 it's a big cutting plant and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. A lot of work goes on there. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Like we do the simple bit, and then yeah. like the, the processors and the supermarkets do the the hard bit. It's um, selling the product and making it right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Good. yeah good. I've told everybody um, mine and Becky's news anyway. Yeah, yeah finally been allowed. I've been. <laughs> I've had permission. I've had permission. Yeah, Andy, that was pretty much it. Uh, people know how Becky is, how our relationship works. I had to get permission, let me tell you that. Um, but yeah, no, we're going to finish off feeding up now, so we didn't get these straw, did we? So we'll just no. give them um, some straw and get that finished off while this traffic gold in the background gets tipped off. Business. So Andy's just getting the straw blasted out in there. See, it's fairly clean still in there. Yeah, yeah. But they do want another one. Keep them topped up, keep them right. So it looks like the uh, load's been tipped off. Going up. All the way up. And he's not got a lot of room before he gets into the shed, but I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll get the job sorted for us. There it is, it's sticky stuff. We don't like coming out of there. Even when it's up that high. Look at all that stuck in there. <laughs> Not good. So because the lorry's like blocking all the yard up down there, we're having to think of things to do. So we're gonna sort out this um this silage up here and try and get that sorted. So we'll get this uh, get this straw loaded while he's trying to get that uh, traffic gold out of there. So it looks like it's gonna be a mission. Oh yes, the leading tower of Barnsley. Well, it's turning into a real hot day. Could do we getting these overalls off, really? So it's pulling the big Volvo onto the way bridge now. There we go. Ain't that a pretty sight, eh? All the cows grazing. Dogs going crazy. What? What? Me and Andy are being sent on a bit of a road trip now. Ooh, ooh. Um, we're going to go and check the fences on a field. Um, Andy sorting the gates out for us. We've got a few hammers and bits and bobs just in case the fence is down. So we're going to let some cattle out into this field. Hopefully tomorrow all being well. It's a nice end to day job, isn't it, Andy? That's Only cool. take us 10 minutes. To an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> so we're just down here now checking the fences because often they're camping. Just hoping that that looks wet across there, doesn't it? That looks hellish wet. I don't, I don't think we're going down there, Andy, by the looks of that. It's proper like marshland, so we're going to use the drone to check the fence and is over there but like it really does just stretch for literally miles so um you know not tried this before but we'll see how it goes
So me and Andy have spotted some bits with the drone. Andy sorted some in the top corner and then we found this looks a bit suspect here. So I mean somebody's just I won't worry about it's being electric Andy. It's just tied onto the They'll just get straight at, straight out of here into this uh, spring barley, I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, spring barley getting hit by geese by the looks of it. Plenty of squawking Canadian geese. I wish them geese that went on our fields were, uh, weren't as tame as, you know, were as wild as that. You have to, have to walk up to them. Andy's finding bones. Bird of some sort, into it. Back end, isn't it? Mm. Skeletons. <laughs> there is actually, isn't there? Jesus. We're commandeering a bit of barbed wire now off this gate. And Andy's forgot to bring the cutter, so it's a hammer job. Two hammers together, cut by wire, no problem. Keep hammering it, Andy. Yeah. Loving it. Some extreme lengths have been gone to, haven't they? Like electrified, electrified there, put down to bottom, and then, Andy, if you're a fox or something, you just go under there. Yeah. Like, no, no problem. <laughs> Straight in, you got time of your life in there. No other... Uh, Predators to compete against. Right, we're back at the farm now, me and Andy. We're just gonna put everything away. Get his job done. Just gotta go up the gears in here. Mix of entrance today, it's a belated one from me. My fault. I'm very sorry about this. But happy birthday to Neil Jordan, and that's from Claire Jordan. So uh, thanks for raising money for Yorkshire Ambulance, guys. Anybody else wants to get involved in that, links in the description below. Business. So Andy's just putting the straw blower away now. And then that's everything in. So that's it, job done for me and Andy. If um, if you liked today's video, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you're not already. The door's coming down and um, yeah, we're ready for bed. I'm tired anyway. Yeah, home time, innit? Home time. I can drive home with the car and work in the Oh yeah, it's fixed now, innit? Andy's car's fixed, it was a sensor and he meant he had to keep resetting it with his little magic app he's got. Oh well. He'll have sorted it. He'll be good, it'll be sorted. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and we will see you tomorrow maybe.